Hey, it's Alora from Firebird Summit. I um, obviously did not do my normally scheduled video this week because as I mentioned in my email, I was in a class in Miami. Um, and even though it's kind of a little ad hoc, I wanted to try to capture some of what was really amazing about this week while it was fresh in my mind. So um, as, as I had mentioned, I was taking the class to help with my, get the ball rolling on my certification to be a Gallup, certified Gallup Strengths Coach. I have been using the Gallup Strengths Tools for about a decade. Um, and it's something that I've always found extremely useful, but the, the actual organized content within the class itself, along with the tools, were things that I was really, really looking forward to. Um, but of course, as always happens, the biggest and most valuable thing that frequently comes out of it for me is the stuff I didn't expect or I wasn't counting on. And that was really the people. Um, we had a, a decent size, but relatively small class of 11 people. Uh, we were at the Hyatt Regency in Miami all week, and uh, we had a great, a great facilitator named Tim Simon. And everything about the dynamics of the group was fantastic. We had, um, you know, a lot of generally a lot of great chemistry, but what was really fantastic was we all came from such different and varied backgrounds and focuses and our strengths were so different from each other that we really got an amazing opportunity to learn tons and tons about how people with maybe common strengths, but different, you know, unique combinations uh, really saw the way their strengths helped them out throughout their various roles and in different aspects of their lives. Um, and it was it was a really amazing week. And one of the things that was really interesting to me, though, that came up again and again, is that many people who are in organizations that are trying to transition to being strengths-based organizations really struggle with a a legacy myopic view of how you're supposed to grow people, um, which is really based on a uh, you got to fix them model. And in listening to this is super interesting because it's so different than what I have encountered. But I also recognize that more often than not, I have encountered um, the strengths conversation with people when I was their manager and I was giving them the, the assessment and then talking about their strengths with them. And so I think um, to be sure, there are plenty of times when people don't tell their manager, oh, hey, well, whatever, I'm glad you know, I'm glad you think that's interesting, but I think it's crap or, or uh, I don't know how the hell you expect me to use this. Um, and so I, I recognize that, that I'm sure plenty of people over the years to whom I've given the assessment have, have maybe looked at it and said, okay, well, that was interesting, but like, I don't know what to do with this. Um, and so the, the training and the tools and the materials that have come out of this, this session for me have been really, really instrumental in tying it together. But I also wanted to kind of just say thank you because I am super grateful that, you know, nobody who has ever been on my staff to whom I have given the assessment has ever said, oh, Laura, you're crazy. This is dumb. Like, why are we doing this? Um, you know, and I have had people come back to me and say, wow, this changed how I, how I saw the way I approach things. Or this has changed where I put my time and my energy when it comes to my own, you know, personal development. Uh, which it has with me too. And so for me, that was, was a very um, sweet and um, important moment to acknowledge because I have been uh, part of conversations with people who have really been able to understand that there is a lot of value in them learning this about themselves and how they apply it. So in the coming weeks, I'm really going to dive into a lot of this. I'm, I'm incorporating a lot of new material into my coaching and consulting practice. And it's really very, very heavily based around Gallup Strengths Finders and, and the, Gallup, uh, the Clifton uh, Strengths Assessment and all of that work, as well as the Entrepreneurial Operating System. And they both have amazing tools for leaders and business owners and managers in particular uh, that I really am looking forward to getting, getting out and helping people incorporate into their businesses on a regular basis. So I hope you've had even a 
fraction of as amazing a week as I have. Um, I am heading back to Medellin this weekend for my last my last couple of weeks there before I return to Miami because this will be my new home. Not this space, but I, I do have an apartment. I'll be moving back here soon. So have a fantastic weekend. And I hope that if you do really understand what your strengths are, you really appreciate how to lean into them. And if you don't, check out the Gallup um, Strengths Assessment. It's called the Clifton, uh, the Clifton Strengths Finder, and or used to be called Strengths Finder. It's called the Clifton Strengths Assessment. Um, it's, it's a great, amazing tool, and there's so much that you can do with it once you get into it. Um, so in the meantime, have a fantastic week, and I will talk to you soon.